Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Minister have been decapitated. You know that the last figure of the casualties is 92. 92 people uh, are confirmed dead from the minister mission, 92, plus two other, from, uh, one from uh, UNDP, one from WFP. For the UN family, it's already 94 uh, people, 94, 92 from minister and 94 for the whole UN who are confirmed dead due to the earthquake. On the issues of uh, security, um, the situation is under control. Uh, as we've said before, we've had some um, minor isolated incidents, but in general, the population has been behaving in a very dignified way, in a very calm way, and uh, we're working very closely with uh, the local authorities, with NGOs, uh, with ground organizations and uh, the, the distribution of food and, and water. Thank you, thank you very much. Already last night, it rained in Port-au-Prince, and uh, you can see all over the city the effects of this first rain that have been really, really bad. You have mud everywhere, landslides, the possibility of larger landslides coming. So this is very uh, worrying. Uh, Minusta has established some uh, rescue teams already, uh, uh, that are, will be ready to assist uh, the population when these things happen, because we know it's coming, we know it's going to happen. The, the, the criminals and uh, inmates from the National Penitentiary that escaped, uh, there, was, there were more or less 8,000 inmates in that prison, and about 5,000 escaped, amongst them the most dangerous ones, I mean the gang leaders. Uh, but uh, I don't as far as we know, I mean, they're not involved right now in any kind of uh, uh, drug trafficking or cocaine trafficking or anything like that. I mean, what they're trying to do right now is uh, they are in hiding because they know we're looking for them. Uh, we have their, their pictures. Their pictures have been distributed everywhere. So what they're trying to do is kind of survive and, and go into hiding. What we need now is shelter, we need tents, we need plastic sheets here to protect the population. And uh, the European Union is uh, organizing this military operation in order to bring, do it fast and quick and effectively. They will not be involved here in security operations, they will not be involved here in patrolling or anything like that. If they're only mounting this uh, operation on, on their military control in order to be more effective and to bring that the, that needed shelter as soon as possible. Bye-bye. Okay. Have a good day. Bye.